your new project is less heavy, less rock and roll, I yeah. gather. Well, it's, yeah, it's less hard rock. Mm. It's less hard rock. Um, I'm, I've, I've, doesn't mean that I'm not going to do a hard rock project. There is another project in the works to satisfy those fans because it's what I do and I want to keep doing it. But the, the new... The, the thing is, like, if I actually listen to myself and what I want to create and, and my, that art, artistic part of the equation, I want to... The, the music that gets me off the most is has uh, elements of more classic songwriting, more popular elements. The fun part is figuring out, well, I'm a rock guy in a rock band, and I, that's what I do really well. How do I blend the two? Try to create a slight, just a little bit of a fresh... So do you feel a new sense of freedom? Yeah. You know, you're able to do lots of different things now? Well, that's the thing. It's For me personally, it's been a double-edged sword because when you're in a band and you're signed and you have commitments, uh, you know what you're doing and you don't have the luxury of saying, hey man, I really feel like doing this reggae thing. It's like, no, you're, you're, this is, you have a commitment. And luckily, because I was raised as a professional, the commitment is paramount. You I'll take credit fulfill for your commitment. Yeah. Me and Max. Yeah, yeah. I remember <laughs> that fucking ski trip. <laughs> and... Uh, for the record, we cancelled a whole ski trip because we forgot that I had a performance halfway through the week and we stayed and did the performance, which was a terrible mistake, to instill good morals. So um, you committed to a show, you must do the show. <laughs> yeah, show must go on. <laughs> and, and it's true. So, but at the same time, so now you're out, I'm out of that situation. All the things that I'm talking to you about right now are just as much a challenge for me because I can do so many things. Doesn't mean I can do all of them as well as And one of those things now is acting. You can actually get back into the acting. Yeah, properly. yeah. I mean, I started out doing acting and all I ever did when I was in the band was basically acting. I just happened to write the music that was a soundtrack and I played the rock star in the band and all that sort of stuff. But I've never considered myself a musician. I've become a very good musician over a very long period of time because it was necessary to maintain the character and to for the production company, which was the band, which was my production company, producing the show that I was the star yeah. of, which was the whole business model. So it wasn't as much like, dude, I want to be a rock star and drink booze and live the dream. I was like, I want to work consistently and I don't want to wait around for the phone for my agent to call me and say, maybe you can get a thing if you do three auditions in a row. I'm like, no, I'll just write the music and put on the show and hire the people and get out there and get it done. And then when they say you don't have it yet, I'm like, all right, how about a viral video that invents viral fucking videos in 2006? Is that enough? <laughs> yeah, okay, so I made that. So, and then what else is there? Okay, so just keep it rolling. Um, so because, like I'm saying, because of all of those things, I can, I can act, I can direct, I can make the video, I can, doesn't mean I can do, there are other people who can do it better than me. So now I'm slowly getting those people that I know and say, hey, I need you to help yeah, These are all things video. you started out doing yeah. and you've had to put on hold for a while. Yeah, yeah, to a degree, but I, I have like the opportunity to do a bunch of different things. But um, the, the the challenge is focusing because you know you have to pick. You have to, that. That was why the thing with the band became uh, as successful as it did is because it was like we're picking one thing and we're putting all the energy into. Well, I remember that you had the choice. You know, when you had an acting agent, say like, you can do the band or you can act. Yeah, and I and chose, chose the, band. the band. I remember. Yeah, I chose the band because you can't. No one wants to see a forty-year-old rock star who, he, unless you're in the Stones. Um, so I basically was like, yeah, I want to do the band until I either get it out of my system or the, we fall over and no one wants to hear my music anymore. Because or to be in a rock band, you, you have to be young. You've got to be in the trains. You have to be young and it takes that much energy as well. But mostly you've got to be young. I wanted to be, in, I wanted to do that. I wanted to have that ride, that performance ride. You think touring. that ride's over? No, not at all. It's up to me if it keeps going. You know, I can, I could, if, if someone calls me and says, hey, go make a movie, which then turns into another movie and TV spots then maybe that'll become what I do for a while. But I'm lucky. Uh, it's be, be, be a version of Jared Leto. Yeah, I mean, I'm lucky. I've met Jared a couple of times, and that's what I'm talking about with... He's, he's perfect. That He's a great example of that, right? He's crazy. He's totally crazy. And he, he's so focused and so on top of everything. I know... Radio, DJ, uh, radio DJs who I've met and I'm friends with them and they say like dude I remember this time Jared called me at like 2 in the morning because I texted I gave him a drunk text and he, he called me at 2.30 in the morning and that's not a mistake that's not a Jared knows that he's going to remember that for the rest of his life and that's Jared fucking Leto <laughs> I'm a movie star and you're going to love getting a call from me at 2.30 it's going to take 2 minutes out of my day to call you and you're going to play every 30 seconds to Mars album till you die on the radio because I did that's it's, he's a smart motherfucker, right? <laughs> that type of focus went into every single facet. That's why 30 seconds, 30 seconds to Mars was an act of will. It happens to be good music, 
But the fact is, no one wanted to, to really... I, I remember, if they were on our label, they blew up at the time that we signed. And we were like, 30 Seconds to Mars is great. But when I first saw it, I was like, that's Jared, what's he, he's in a band? Everyone said the same thing, like, oh, please, another guy wants to be a rock star. He had to overcome that and then continue the success for like what they're on their fourth album, third real big album. And he willed it into existence by just pushing and pushing and making the right moves like a chess game and devoted himself to that thing. And then when it was like, okay, now I'm at a point where I can step away for a minute. Then what does he go? He goes and wins a fucking Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, Jesus, the guy's a, he's a genius. He's a, he is, he really is. And so that's, that's a good example of that, that focus. It, it, you, can't, you can't buy it. You know, you can't make it up. You know, you, you're just that consistent. That's why content, con content is king, consistent content. You can have average content. If it's consistent, the audience will find you and they will continue to tune in every Monday morning to see your next piece right. of content.